Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. It is Monday, so that means that it is meal prep day and I have three frigging delicious recipes for you. This week's dessert is fire. So I can't wait to share these three recipes with you. Make sure you're not missing a single video by hitting the little subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. If you love meal preps, give this one a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and lets me know that you enjoy seeing these meal prep videos. And of course, let's jump in because we have three incredible recipes to create. this week I'm making blueberry oatmeal breakfast bars so those Belveda blueberry breakfast bars is what inspired this recipe I wanted something that had good ingredients clean whole real food that was point friendly because unfortunately those aren't very point friendly and something that I could pair with some eggs or something for some added protein for breakfast so let me show you what's in this recipe. First you'll need some oat flour. You can also make your own out of oats if you don't have oat flour on hand. And of course some oats, almond milk or milk of your choice, raw honey, eggs, baking powder, vanilla extract and ground cinnamon, as well as some salt, coconut oil, one large ripe banana, and either fresh or frozen blueberries. So let's make some breakfast. So the first thing we need to do for our breakfast bars is I went ahead and mashed a medium, about a half of a cup total banana here in my bowl. To that, I'm going to add one cup of my almond milk. I'm also going to add one egg give that kind of a quick stir. We want to kind of stir as we go to make sure that that banana gets incorporated with all of the liquid that we're adding. We're also going to add in one quarter cup of our honey. Yum. I love honey, you guys. So good. So we're going to go ahead and add that. Put a little left in there. And then we are going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And last but not least, two tablespoons of melted coconut oil. Go ahead and give that a stir. Make sure everything is nice and combined. After you've mixed together all of the wet ingredients, it's time to add in the dry ingredients. So I'm going to add half of a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm also going to add some ground cinnamon and I like a lot of cinnamon so I'm really going to load it up about a teaspoon or so of cinnamon. We're going to do just a pinch of salt, one and a half cups of rolled oats and then we took the other cup if you want to make your own oat flour. One cup of oats will make about a half of a cup of oat flour so I just did half of a cup of my already prepared oat flour. And then we're going to stir this together until it is thoroughly mixed and then we'll fold in the blueberries. Now to fold in one cup of frozen or fresh blueberries. Be gentle when stirring those in, especially if you're using fresh blueberries so that you don't smush them in the process. I'm gonna go ahead and grab out an eight by eight baking pan and we'll get that prepped and ready to go so we can get these into the oven. So I have my eight by eight baking dish here. We're just using this square baker. I sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray. Here is the bar mixture. It smells and looks delicious. We're going to go ahead and add that to our prepared pan. We're going to kind of smooth it out the best that we can with our spoon. And this goes into a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes or until the bars are cooked all the way through and there's no more liquid so that they'll rest and we'll be able to cut them into our breakfast bars. This looks so good, nourishing, filling, and clean eating. Our breakfast bars just came out of the oven. Look how delicious these look. It smells very fruity and blueberry and sweet and cinnamony. I'm super excited for these. So I'm gonna go ahead and let these cool for a few minutes and then I'll package them up and I'll show you what I'm going to be having with these for breakfast. 
So I went ahead and cut the bars into nine pieces. So each one of these is a serving. So my plan is I'm going to have one of these breakfast bars with one to two eggs and then maybe some additional fruit. So let's go over points and calories of the bars. But first, let me show you what the inside of the bars look like look at the inside oh my goodness you guys these are so soft i am stoked for these so now let's talk about points and calories so i went ahead and added five of the bars here to a tupperware container for me so that i have one each day for breakfast that leaves a four additional bars here my husband will eat these for sure so these will definitely get eaten up these would be a great snack too so i may do that but for each one of these bars it is six smart points on both the blue and green plan and only three on purple 186 calories so again I'm going to pair them with some eggs and some additional fresh fruit. For lunches this week, I'm making a copycat Panera Bread Green Goddess Salad. Now I did make some alterations to the original recipe due to ingredients on hand and some of the ingredients I couldn't find. So I will share the original recipe on my website as well as any modifications that I have made. So I'm gonna show you first what we're doing step-by-step -step for the salad. It's going to be a great refreshing protein packed lunch on a hot summer day. One of the things we need for the salad is pickled onions. So to make our pickled onions, we're going to need some white vinegar, sugar, I'm gonna use the monk fruit Lakanto, some salt, a red onion, and then a little bit of warm water. And then for the salad itself, I decided to go with a romaine, baby spinach, and red butter lettuce combo. You could really do whatever lettuce mixture you wanted to do, but I opted for those. We're also going to need a couple of avocados, some chicken, I have some chicken tenderloins here from Trader Joe's, tomatoes, bacon, feta cheese, and we are going to hard boil some eggs. And then for the Green Goddess dressing, this is where I made a few modifications. We're first going to need some mayo, and the recipe calls for champagne vinegar. I could not find that anywhere, so I'm gonna sub balsamic vinegar. We'll also need some pepper, lemon juice, and for spices, you can use fresh or dried parsley, and you could also use fresh or dried chives. And then the recipe called for tarragon, which I don't have, as well as a couple other spices I don't have. So I'm gonna sub it with this poultry seasoning, only because I think this is going to add good flavor to enhance kind of the chicken that's in this recipe. So that is everything you'll need for the dressing the salad, and the pickled onions. So the first thing I'm going to do is hard boil my eggs and I'm going to do it in the air fryer. This is my first time doing this. So I had to look up a recipe online. I'm using my Copper, Copper Chef air fryer. You guys know I love this little air fryer. We actually just sold our big oven style on Swap and Shop because we don't ever use it. We use this small one a lot and I really want an air fryer that has a dehydrator. So I highly recommend this air fryer if you're a small family or you just wanna air fry a couple things at a time. I'll link this down below. I just bought mine on Amazon. So I currently have it preheating to 270 degrees. And then what all we're going to do is toss our eggs in the basket once it's preheated and we're gonna let them air fry for about 10 minutes. So the first thing that we need to do is make the pickled onions. I'm sorry if you can hear my air fryer, it's literally like right here in the background. So in a bowl, I'm going to add half of a cup of just regular white vinegar. To that, I'm gonna go ahead and add my sliced up onions. I just cut them up randomly. There's really no rhyme or reason to them. We're then going to add about one and a half teaspoons of salt. I'm just going to put in a couple of small pinches. We have one cup of warm water, and last but not least, one tablespoon of the sweetener of your choice. I'm going to mix this all together. I'm going to grab a ball jar and throw them in there. That way they can just sit and pickle, and then I'll just pull out the amount that I want each day when I go to prepare my salad. I won't be adding these to the salad for storage. I will add them on fresh each day when I go to eat it. 
I'm going to go ahead and throw four slices of bacon into my microwave. I just have them on a paper towel here on a paper plate. I just cover them with a second paper towel. I cook them for about one minute per slice of bacon, so I'm gonna throw this in for four minutes. I've got my chicken tenders in the pan, sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. I just simply season them with salt and pepper. We're gonna go ahead and cook these until they're cooked through, and then we're about ready to assemble the salad. So let's make some dressing. So for the dressing, it's very, very simple. I just went ahead and measured out 56 grams of the Chosen Foods avocado mayo. That is four tablespoons. Also, I wanted to share with you the original recipe for this not only calls for tarragon, but also calls for watercress, which I couldn't find anywhere. So I'm omitting that as well in the dressing. So I think the dressing will taste just fine. It's just I had to omit those couple of ingredients. So I am going to go ahead and add some of my dried chives. I would say that I'm going to add about a tablespoon and a half of those. I'm also going to add some parsley, again, about a teaspoon, not a tablespoon of chives. I'm sorry, you guys about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of chives and parsley. And then I'm going to add about half of a teaspoon of the poultry seasoning. Of course, we're gonna do a little salt and a little pepper. And then we have some lemon juice here. We want about two tablespoons of lemon juice. So I'm just going to eyeball about two tablespoons of lemon juice. And then in place of the champagne vinegar, I'm using balsamic vinegar and we want about a tablespoon of that. And then we're simply going to stir this together. And this is our dressing for all four days. So basically I accounted for one tablespoon of the mayo each day. So we'll stir that all together and we're going to have a green dressing despite missing the tarragon and the watercress. So I'm going to start assembling the salads, kind of show you guys what I'm doing as far as putting them together for meal prep. I'm going to have a salad today for lunch, so I'll get to show you what the salad looks like right before you eat it. So let's go ahead and meal prep the three salads for later in the week. So I do have my meal prep bowls. These are linked down in the description box. So I have two bags of lettuce like you saw. So I wanna get four salads out of each, out of the two bags of lettuce. So I'm going to put a bit of the romaine on the bottom and then I'm going to top it with this red baby butter lettuce and baby spinach mixture. And then I'm just going to repeat. I just wanna make sure that I have enough lettuce for four salads salads total. So add a little bit more of that baby spinach mix right to the top there. And now let's add the toppings that we're going to put on the salad while it stores. So what I'm going to do is add some tomatoes. Those will be just fine to sit on the salad for storage. So I'm going to go ahead and just add some of these delicious looking tomatoes. These look really good. And then to each salad that is not going to be added for storage, I'm going to be having avocado. So I have 50 grams of avocado per salad. One of my air fryer boiled eggs, I will slice this and add it before eating. And then here are those four slices of bacon. I actually would like to leave the bacon separate as well, so I'll add one fourth of this to the salad as well before eating. Also directly to the salad, I'm going to add half of an ounce of feta cheese. This is totally fine sitting on the salad as well. So there is about a half of an ounce of feta. So this is how the salad is going to look for storage. Now let's put together the dressing and then right before we pop the lid on this, we're going to add the chicken, it's just cooling. So what I'm going to do here with the dressing, so here it is, is I'm going to add one fourth of it to my little reusable to go container. So I wanna divide the dressing out evenly amongst all four containers and then I will pop the lid on this and it will just sit right here in the salad bowl for storage. So this is the amount of dressing that we're going to have per salad. So I'm just gonna, going to add the cute little lid. I did get these containers at Home Goods. I'm going to pop that here in the salad. Now this is ready to go other than the chicken. So let's add the chicken to the top and then we'll repeat this for the other two salads and then we'll put together the grand finale salad for lunch today. So here is the completed salad. I've went ahead and added the chicken and then all I do is pop the lid on and this will go in the refrigerator. And then again, right before we eat it, we'll add the hard boiled egg, the avocado, the bacon, and of course the dressing. So 
here is lunch. They are put together, but let's go over the salad here. So how I'm storing it is of course the greens, the tomatoes, the chicken, the feta. I have my dressing here in my hard boiled egg that I'll just peel and slice before I eat. So I have four salads ready to go. One for today that doesn't have the dressing and then the other three for storage. Each day I will top my salad with these delicious looking pickled onions. I have the bacon here and then 50 grams of avocado. So this salad, you guys, is only four. That includes the salad dressing. You can't beat that at all. There's bacon, avocado, chicken, all the things on here, and it's 382 calories per salad. For a sweet treat this week, we're making peanut butter pie. Now this is a fairly healthy recipe. It would be a clean, clean recipe if you made your own crust. So the original recipe does have a crust portion. I will link that recipe on my website if you wanted to make your own crust, but I'm saving time and just using a ready crust from Keebler. So let me show you what's in our peanut butter pie. First, you'll need some powdered peanut butter. This one is my favorite, the Lakanto. I just buy this off of Amazon. I'll link this one down below. It's very affordable, and I think it has really delicious flavor. You can prepare this with water like I'm going to do, or if you do prefer it with sugar-free syrup, feel free to do that. I don't think that it would change the points, but I don't actually eat sugar-free syrup, so I'm gonna save points and calories and mix mine with water. And then you'll need a pie crust. So this is just the Keebler Ready Crust Graham Cracker. Almond milk or milk of your choice. Vanilla extract and salt. Lily's chocolate chips and three really ripe bananas. So let's make peanut butter pie. So to start our pie, I have a bowl here. I'm going to add my one cup of peanut butter powder. So whatever you're using, and then we're going to make peanut butter. So I'm going to add just a little bit of water at a time and stir until I have the consistency that I'm looking for with the peanut butter. Again, if you were using syrup, you could just add your syrup a little bit at a time until you have the consistency that you're looking for. So there's my consistency. It's really, really similar to regular peanut butter. To that, I'm going to go ahead and add my three bananas. So I'm going to squish them just a tiny bit before I add them. We're going to mix all of this with a hand mixer. You could also use a food processor, whatever your preference is. Then we're going to add three tablespoons of almond milk. I just had the Great Value or Forager, whatever you have. I ran out of the Forager, so I ended up adding a little bit of the Great Value. And then we are going to put in about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. This extract is from the Thrive Market. You guys know I love the Thrive. So check that out down below for free groceries. And then we are going to do just a tiny bit of salt because salt enhances the sweetness. Then let's go ahead and grab out our hand mixer or food processor whatever your preference is and get this mixed up here is our mix this looks so good you want it as smooth as you can get it so I went ahead and pulled out my graham cracker crust and I'm just going to pour the peanut butter pie mixture into the crust we're going to do our best to just smooth it out with the back of our spoon. Look at that. Doesn't this look so delicious? So the last step before we put it in the freezer, yes, the freezer, is to add 56 grams of Lily's chocolate chips, which is basically four servings. So I'm going to go ahead and just sprinkle those right on top of the peanut butter pie. If you are not a fan of Lily's, you could use anything you want to top this with. If you do decide to go with regular chocolate chips, just recalculate calculate the points or only use the same amount of regular chocolate chips points wise as Lily gives you if that makes sense and then that way you're not having to up the points which this is actually really good in smart points for dessert anyways but I'm going to use Lily's I like the taste of Lily's chocolate chips so now we're going to get this into the freezer I'm going to cover it with some saran wrap and this needs to go in the freezer for three to four hours So I just pulled out the pie. You can see it's not quite set up. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it back in the freezer, but I wanted to share it with you guys. So if you cut this pie into eight equal slices, it is seven smart points on all plans. That's amazing for peanut butter pie with 
graham cracker crust and chocolate chips. Now, if you wanted to save some points, you could cut this into smaller slices. You could do 10 slices and that would make it only five smart points per serving. And it is 214 calories. That's it for a slice of pie. Thank you for joining me on this week's meal prep. I hope you are as excited as I am about these three recipes. I am not kidding when I say that they are stellar. And that pie, hello, pie that's WW friendly and clean, yes, please. All of these recipes will be linked on my website. That is down in the description box below. Make sure you're checking that out because you're going to find the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We would love to have you be part of our community over there. You're also going to find discount codes and links to my favorite things, including some of the products that I shared with you today. So click that little down arrow and check out that description box. If you're new, stick around, subscribe, hit the little bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. I do a meal prep every single Monday so you don't wanna miss out. If you loved these recipes, give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it helps out my channel. And of course, comment down below and let me know what recipe you have to make for your family. Thank you so much for spending some time with me on this Monday, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams.